to take the lessons from this, but also be able to move forward quickly when, in terms of how we want to put it right. We know that tonight we weren't ourselves. It, you know, if you compare the performance to when we played against Washington Spirit, I think it was night and day in terms of the energy and our ability to, to move the ball well, to be good in possession, to build. Um, so for us, we're going to focus on making sure that we do those things well, be able to have the energy required to, to go to Chicago with such a meaningful game um, and just making sure that we, we get that right after taking two well-deserved rest days, which the players haven't had in a long time. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it's, it's been rough if we think about some of the late goals that we conceded um, in terms of where that might put us in the table had we not conceded those goals. Um, but at the same time, I feel like it's a process, albeit as painful as it is, that we need to go through as a team and learn because now, you know, we know what's expected of us. We know if we meet the standard, how good we can be. We know if we fall short of that standard, what happens and the consequences of that. Um, I don't think that we came out and played our best soccer in the first half and we got punished as a result. Um, I think there was a kind of a sense of like get through to half time and regroup and that, that wasn't acceptable in terms of you know they, they punished us in that moment but I think the good thing is the quality that we've shown this season we are good enough to be able to make the playoffs and be a playoff team and we just have to maintain that consistency and you know to be where we are as an expansion team I think is still pretty incredible and you know, the biggest thing that we're lacking is consistency, but we've been formed, you know, we've played games since April, so it's pretty it's pretty hard for us to get consistency when we're such a new team. Um, but despite the result today, I'm still very, very proud of this group. You know, whenever there's a goal conceded, there's usually a mistake involved, right? It's, that's how the ball goes in the back of the net. So, you know, I think that for us, you know, the third goal, it was, we changed our shape, we went for it, and it was one of those consequences of, you know, us defending with basically two um, at the back. But, you know, I'll take that on me because ultimately we, we've made that decision to roll the dice and gamble and go for the win um, still at that moment. But, yeah, I think, you know, we'll all look at it in terms of mistakes that are, you know, proving costly. And I thought that we did the same thing in San Diego. We made a couple of mistakes in a row and that cost us in terms of the goal that they scored. And, you know, we made mistakes in both ends of the field tonight and, and that's proved costly again. There were sometimes explanations, but I think um, there was a few decisions tonight that we weren't fully able to explain, not just in terms of the volume, but in terms of the quality and the noise and the atmosphere. Um, makes it really difficult to get information onto the field at times because of the amazing atmosphere that they provide. Um, but we, we, we know we've sold that with pen and paper the good old fashioned way, but I'm so proud to be a part of the club with a fan base and the, representing the community in the way that we do and the way that the fans represent the community and themselves is incredible. Um, I've never been part of a club with such an atmosphere um, and also such engagement, the quality of engagement and how much it means to the fans. Of, you know, it's not just on match day, it's every day and the passion, it's incredible, it's infectious and I just really hope that continues next year with a vengeance and more of it.